Hi everyone! This is HP LaserJet Pro M28W and in this video I will show you how to connect this multifunctional printer to Wi-Fi. I'm going to show you both methods how to connect to your home or office Wi-Fi network and how to connect via Wi-Fi direct, how to print, how to scan, so subscribe to Signal Guru and let's go! If your printer looks like this, first let's get it ready to work. So open the front panel lid, unfold the paper tray, load some paper, now extend the output tray, unfold it completely, make sure your printer is plugged into the power socket, and power on your printer, just press the power button once and wait until the power and warning indicators to stop blinking. And on the other hand, the Wi-Fi indicator should start blinking blue. It means the printer is ready for connection. Like this. Also, make sure that printer stops making any sounds under hood and continue on your smartphone or computer. I'm using Windows PC to set up my printer, but in the same way you can use Mac OS, Android or iOS, uh, you just need to install HP Smart application and follow the steps. So I already have installed this application, let me open it. Uh, in this window click yes, as always, wait for downloading. If nothing happens more than 30 seconds, you can close the window and reopen the application. And now you can accept all the terms and conditions or decline optional data. Let me accept all. Uh, this is necessary permission. Uh, let HP Smart access your precise location. Yes, otherwise you will not be able to set up your printer. Uh, make sure that Bluetooth is enabled on your PC. And now click on Add Printer. Now wait for searching. Once your printer appeared here, click on its icon. It's time to connect, set up and manage your HP printer. OK, click Continue. It's connecting to Wi-Fi. Uh, now, in this window, uh, you are asking about access to Wi-Fi password of your home or office network. If you want to give this permission, everything will, will go automatically. Uh, in this case, click on Continue. Otherwise, click on No Thanks and you will have to enter your Wi-Fi password manually in this field. Uh, let's do it automatically. Click Continue. It's fine in the printer. Next step, starting printer setup get in printer address, it means IP address. Now it's finishing connections and printer is connected to Wi-Fi but in some reason we see this window. Uh, okay, if you see this window, computer is unable to connect to your printer, first click on try again. And now it seems everything is alright, so just click continue. What's next? Uh, once again, you need to accept some terms and conditions or decline optional data. Let's accept all to save time. Uh, enable auto updates, which is recommended, and click on apply. You can print now from other devices. You can send installation link for HP Smart Application or skip this step for now. Now you can print a test page. But let's print something later. Now let me show you how easy you can add your printer to other devices in your network after the first connection. So uh, let's add the printer to your smartphone, install HP Smart application from App Store or from Google Play Store, open the app, accept terms and conditions, tap on set up a new printer, allow to find devices on local networks and now just tap on already connected to network. Your printer is found right away, so tap on its icon and it's connected. So easy. Also, now you can connect it, your devices to the printer directly without needing to connect to your shared network. To do this, on your smartphone in HP Smart application tap on your printer's icon and find network information. Now tap on Wi-Fi Direct. 
make sure this feature is on security is on and here is your wi-fi direct name and security passcode and all you need to do is open your wi-fi settings on any device find your printer's network and if the password is required just enter this password now you're connected to the printer directly keep in mind that you can't use wi-fi to browse the internet now but you still can use mobile data now let's go back to the home screen let's finally print something from your computer uh, the matter is you don't have to use hp smart application each time you need to print something because once the printer is connected you can print from any application that allows to do it uh, for example let's print some documents from my downloads let's go to downloads find pdf document double click to open it opens in acrobat reader so we need to click on menu find the print option and adjust the settings first of all you need to make sure your printer is selected in this drop down so select your hp laser jet and now set how many copies do you need and how many pages from this document you need to print all of them current or sum of pages and specify in this field let's print current page these settings are not interesting for us so far because uh, more interesting are printer settings to enter printer settings you need to click properties next to your printer uh, in this tab you have some printing shortcuts or printing presets in other words uh, let's select general everyday printing now I'll switch to paper and quality set paper size I have a4 paper now uh, or you can set custom paper uh, you don't need to select paper source because this printer has only one paper tray but you can set paper type uh, labels heavy plain so um, let it be unspecified also you can select layout and print more than one page per sheet up to 16 pages and what's in advanced settings reverse page order no i don't need this feature so once you're done just click on ok explore these settings these settings depending on the application type actually uh, and now just click on print and wait for printer to do its job now let's scan a document uh, click on the scan tile in the application uh, close this window or later you can click on learn more here and read about scanning but i will show you everything in, in this video so select the source first but you have no options here actually scanner glass is your only option if you wish to manually detect edges of your document later check this checkbox i recommend you to do it because sometimes uh, automatic detection works bad uh, select your preset document or photo select scan area you can switch to standard paper size or select entire scan area and detect the edges later or scan few small documents on one surface on one page uh, now select your output color or grayscale and select resolution up to 600 dpi but 300 is more than enough for documents also you can click on this magic wand over here and enable auto enhancements uh, of brightness contrast colors of your image and auto orientation just in case you've put the document incorrectly uh, like upside down now let me show you how to place the documents correctly so you need to open the scanning unit and place your document the side you wish to scan must be put facing down and the top left corner of your document must be aligned with the top left corner of the scanning surface you have the paper sheet icon over here so you need to align your document with this paper sheet icon and make sure the edges of your document fit snugly to the borders of the scanning surface also look at these paper size markers and check your paper size it's a4 in my case on this side we also have paper size markers once you're done close the scanning unit now in the application check your settings one more time you can switch to your paper size defined by paper size markers and click on scan After your scan is ready, uh, it takes you to detect edges menu, so you can drag this corner or this corner to detect edges. Also, you can click on auto detect 
and click on full detect to capture the full scan area once you're done click on apply over here and this is your scan result now you can click on three dots at the top right and you can replace this scan but this is the only scan in our document so far so we can't replace you can delete this scan or edit it's loading in edit menu you can crop uh, your image to standard size or select custom and drag this corner to crop also you can adjust brightness saturation clarity exposure and so on apply filters add text add markup to your document and save your settings by clicking done uh, next you can add more pages to your document click on this add button and now you have some options you can use scanner once again you can just uh, put the next page to the scanner glass don't forget to align uh, adjust your settings you can set uh, different setups for each document uh, you you can combine color and grayscale combine different resolutions uh, you can uncheck detect edges so for each page you can set different settings and one more option is import you can import images from your file system so let's close this window click on import it opens this window so you need to go to some folder where you have images strange thing but you can add PDF files this way uh, select image you wish to add now click on full over here to capture the full image and click on apply and you have two pages in your document now you can edit each page separately now you can replace or delete page uh, also you can reorder the page just drag and drop to reorder like this switch view like this uh, add more pages now let's click on scan once again and wait for the scan result Uh, that's it our document gets bigger larger longer so uh, repeat this action as many times as you need and then you can save your document print the document right away share uh, use printing shortcuts send fax for this example let's just save the document uh, you need to specify your file type uh, remember that pdf only supports multiple pages so uh, select pdf for multiple page documents and set compression or save without compression and in this field you can rename your document now click save and select location for your document let's say on let's save on desktop save your file has been saved it appears here now you can go back back once again and it takes you back to the home screen of HP smart when you're scanning using HP smart for smartphones you have pretty the same settings over here so I won't go through them for the second time but the thing I want to show you is change source you can tap on the source over here switch to camera and now you can take pictures of your documents and convert them into scans like this just take a picture now adjust borders just like on computer drag the corners or borders and hit next and it takes you to the same menu with these three dots you can edit your scan and continue to print share save and so on but let me show you one more feature you can switch source to camera and enable auto scan when it's enabled it scans automatically detecting borders you need to hold still to do this now once it's scanned you can right away replace your document with the next one and scan one more time so get used to it and you will be able to scan a batch of documents in minutes in seconds now disable auto mode and you have this thumbnail icon at the top right at the bottom right so tap on that and you are in the editing menu and that's pretty it 
Smartphone copy feature works just like scanning mode, but with this difference that your documents will be printed right away. You can switch to manual or auto, scan a document, scan as many documents as you need, switch back to manual to stop scanning, and then tap on the thumbnail icon at the top right. And now just start black, because this printer is black and white only, but before you can set the number of copies up to 99. Start black and your document will be copied. Pretty cool. And that's it for today, guys. Explore more features of HP Smart Application. Tap on your printer style to enter the settings menu. Explore settings as well. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If yes, consider to subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button and be awesome. Bye, guys.